Hello and welcome to this Dr Frost Maths tutorial on how to create a worksheet and what we can do with that worksheet. We can access this by using this link here, so create a worksheet and this is on your dashboard after you've logged in or you can access it by going to questions on the menu and then go worksheet builder. So let's click that and you get this lovely interface here. Now I'm going to build a worksheet of four questions. So it's very simple. If we just click here, click to choose question, we can then choose our questions. So we can filter by topic, uh, we can filter by difficulty. And just to give you an idea about difficulty levels, uh, on a GCC Foundation paper, the difficulties are usually levels one and two. On a higher tier paper, the difficulties are usually two and three, and four is generally beyond, beyond the expectations of an exam. We can also filter by author, so a particular exam board, and we can also filter by text. So let's um, choose some questions now. I'm going to filter by topic. I want um, fractions, so let's go number, fractions, add and subtract proper improper fractions. And let's say I want for this particular question, I want an Excel question. So I click this question here, it gives me a preview, that'll do. So I'm going to click use this question and then you can see it's inserted it into your worksheet. Let's add another question, so click this plus here. I'm going to pick another question and if I click that it brings this up again and notice it saves all the settings from before. So if you want to select a number of questions from the same topic um, then you can do that very quickly. So let's say now I want to have a histograms question, I can go up to data handling it's under data representation, we want histograms, let's click that and then let's just say I want uh, this question, a nice one where I get to draw something. So let's use this, use this question and then it's inserted that question into my worksheet. Now let's have a few more. I want now a um, question on coordinates, so let's go to coordinates, shape, and then we want coordinates is down here. Identify coordinates in all four quadrants. And this question here will do. It's on a foundation tier paper. So we write down the coordinates of one of these points. Use this question. And then one final question. Let's go for AQA this time. And I want the topic this time to be, let's go for circle theorem. So understand and apply all circle theorems. And then Let's have this question here, a nice picture. And we've got a nice multiple choice question, so I'm going to use that. Uh, and note, by the way, you can reorder these questions. So you can see if, as I hover my mouse over the top, uh, the, the mouse changes, and I can drag these questions around. So I can drag this, hold my mouse down, drag it across, release my mouse, and you can see it's reordered the questions. We can also, um, this is currently edit mode, we can also view it um, as a more conventional paper. So we can view mode here and we can see the question like this. And in fact, while in view mode, we can actually answer the question. So I can put in a coordinate here, submit answer, and it shows me the answer to the question. So let's go back to edit mode. Now we want to save this. So we can, if I click save now, it will prompt me for a title for the worksheet, but I can change it by clicking here. So let's click this and I'm going to just call it my awesome worksheet. So you can either hit return or you can just click out of the box and then it will update the title. Now this is the access setting here and currently it's set to private which means only I can view it or only students can view it when I set this as a, a homework for them. If you change it to school, all teachers in your school can view it under the, you can see here the tabs here, all school and you can see all school worksheets or I can set it to public and then anyone can see it. So I just keep it on private for the moment and then I'm going to save it, click save and you can see, it's, it's given me a notification, it's saved it. You can see now it's changed the tab to My Sheets and you can see it's listed amongst My Sheets here. So I can select another worksheet and I can see what I've made earlier and then I can switch back to this one here. We can see a number of options here. I can choose Set as Work here and if I click that, I can then set it to a particular class. So let's say I want to set it to this particular random class and then I can select all the students there, click OK, and then I can select a due date and then click OK, and it will email all of those students and tell them that they've got that work. Or I can export to Word, so if I click Export as Word, 
it then pops up at the bottom with the download. So if I click this, I can see my awesome worksheet here and you can see the questions. We have somewhere for the students to put their answer. The histograms question. You can modify this as appropriate. You've got that image there. And you can see at the end, it actually generates a mark scheme for you as well. So you can see these answers, even like the his this histogram, it's given us what we had to draw on that histogram. So let's close that. We can also play as a live game, and I explain that in another video. Uh, practice mode allows you to view it as a student would view it if they were doing it as a homework, and we can obviously um, delete it as well. Now, one last thing, if I click on um, past papers, and let's say I want an OCR paper, and I select this paper here, I've got the paper here. And what's nice is I can then edit this. So let's just say I want to remove certain questions. I want to get rid of like this question. I want to get rid of this question. So click the cross here. I want to reorder these two questions. Um, I'm not able to save this because I'll be saving an OCR paper, um, but I can save as, so I can make my own copy. So click this, and then I've got my own copy. Click OK, and you can see it switched to my sheets again, and I've got my own copy, and I could set this modified past paper to my students.